This is the incident that provoked a group of Kenyans led by social group Kilimani Moms to take to the streets to protest what they termed as an act of violence against women. It is such a shame that in the 21st century, people are still being judged according to their dressing code. There has been rampant cases of women being stripped in public and others even raped. This leads to questions like, are African women doing away with their culture? Should we blame the Western culture? Or is it just men and the society who are not ready to evolve? There is no justification of undressing a woman because you feel she's indecent. Who defines decency? How long should my dress be? This is something that we should not, it's a can of worms. We should not let this thing get out of hand. Masai Mara University, located within Nairobi County, is a diverse university with students from different backgrounds who have different beliefs and culture. Most importantly, they have their own fashion sense. However, there's been a misunderstanding between the girls in the university and the community at large due to the common press, my dress, my choice. So, let me and my team find out why. You must have heard about the phrase, my dress, my choice. Yeah. What do you think about it? I think everyone, every girl is allowed to wear what they think they are comfortable in, whether a short dress or a long dress. Whatever they feel like, on a scale they are comfortable in, they should just wear it. Have you heard of the phrase, my dress, my choice? What's your take about it? Dress code matters a lot when it comes to pro, uh, pro, uh, professionalism. So if you are not putting on the attires that are required for that field, maybe it will have a negative effect to the uh, performance of the, the, the workers in that uh, company or maybe in that field of business. So mostly for me, I'll, uh, I'll advise a uh, majority of the youth, uh, mostly those who are professional, to put on the attire that are required for professionals. So that was the student's opinion. Let's go find out what the lecturers have to say. Afternoon. Are you conversant with the phrase my dress my choice? Yes, I'm conversant with it. What do you think about it? What do you think about the phrase? The phrase is controversial. It depicts a situation where any lady, I think mostly it applies to ladies because I, I don't see a lot of uh, um, my dress my choice with men. It is not a very good statement. At the same time, it's a good statement. The reason why it's a good statement is because we are in a democratic country where we can dress freely. But it's not good at the same time because the, in, the information of my dress, my choice, is where any lady can dress any lady. We are communication students. What are we communicating outside there? So to me, it should stray. It, there's, Friends should be my address, my responsibility. After getting different opinions from the students and the lecturers, we decide to head out and listen to what the general public had to say on the subject. Ah, Komajina, Nipita, Wana Boda Boda Ba, Narok University, Masai Mara University. Yeah, na eh, tunapiga kazi kama kawaida. Ah, my dress, my choice, ni meskia, lakini niko very against it. Ju, okay. For boys, boys wanna do a good dress. Yeah, na never say ma wakosa. Like you can galia upandea wasiana. Kuna ingine wanna dress bizuri. Like you ingine wanna dress bibaya. Okay, never say ma kongo mi mi niki beba kwanza msiana mvas katfupi. Ina ni affect ju. You can galia. No no wakosa idmira ino nyesha mbuni beba. So ino nyesha di. Kaisa ya. Yeah. Na ukiona hivyo kwanza kio kwanza unapoteza una, una attention unaanza kuangalia huko na tumeendesha kwa barabara so unaweza kosa accident It is evident that my dress my choice is not acceptable in the society since it leads to more vices hence the female gender should know that my dress my choice has its limits Sitaitaki kitambo sitaitaki kitambo hakika tulikuwa na moro za tukijali viongozi wa tomorrow lakini Everything, not anything. My dress, my choice. I 